Hi guys. Today we will analyze PepsiCo stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock has been a good performer in the overall market. The long and short term trends are both positive. Support levels are around $170, $167 and $154. Next support levels are around $149 and $129. Resistance level is around $175 and 50 cents. In the last month the stock has been trading between $163.70 and $177.20 range. It is currently trading near the high of this range. It may be a good idea to wait for a pullback before considering an entry. The stock has an average volume of 4.8 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5 year average PE ratio and expected growth rate. First model Discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 5% per year for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 12% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 90% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for PepsiCo company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. PepsiCo will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation, future revenue growth rate would be low, 2%. Future profit margin would be low, 9%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 60%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $59. Second scenario. PepsiCo will have average performance in next 5 years. And we will use the following parameters in our calculation, future revenue growth rate would be average, 4%. Future profit margin would be average, 9.5%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 70%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $77. Third scenario. PepsiCo will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 6%. Future profit margin would be high, 10%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $100. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 5.62. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For PepsiCo, analysts forecast growth rate around 6% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 26. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for PepsiCo company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. PepsiCo will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 2%. Future PE would be low, 15. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $43. Second scenario. PepsiCo will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 4%. 
future PE would be average, 17. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $58. Third scenario. PepsiCo will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 6%. Future PE would be high, 19. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $77. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $172, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. While the company has a good profitability rating, there are some minor concerns on its financial health. While showing a small future growth rate, 4-6% per year, the stock is overpriced at the moment. The stock is at all-time highs. The company is a dividend king. I may consider buying the stock for the dividend, when the stock drops to $100. Company Strengths Pepsi is an American multinational food, snack, and beverage corporation. It oversees the manufacturing, distribution, and marketing of its products. The company possesses 23 brands. Pepsi has operations all around the world, and its products were distributed across more than 200 countries. Pepsi is the second largest food and beverage business in the world, behind Nestle. On average, 11 of the 15 top-selling products in convenience stores come from PepsiCo, and Lay's is the world's best-selling snack food brand. The company also provides tea and coffee products, through a joint venture with Starbucks and Unilever. The company's consolidated beverage and snack distribution operations, combined with its direct store delivery capabilities, allow for better execution in merchandising. Pepsi has a return on equity of 47%. This is amongst the best returns in the industry. The company has a return on assets of 8% and profit margin of 10%. It is better than the industry average. PepsiCo is a dividend king. The stock offers a solid 2.5% dividend yield and has increased its dividend for 50 consecutive years in a row. Risks Pepsi faces challenges from rising costs for commodities and other inputs. Although the company has implemented price increases across its portfolio, it has not been able to fully offset inflation. Other risks include lower than expected demand for its beverage and snack food products, unfavorable weather conditions, and increased competition. Pepsi, which sells both food and beverages, is more exposed to agricultural cost inflation than Coca-Cola, which does not have food operations. Pepsi also faces risks from unfavorable currency effects, and could be hurt by strength in the US dollar. High Debt Level PepsiCo may have some problems paying its short-term obligations. The company requires more financing than its industry peers. PepsiCo is expected to show a small growth in revenue and EPS. In the coming five years, the revenue will grow by 4-6% yearly. The earnings per share is expected to grow by 8% on average over the next 5 years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.